We're going to be creating this part called a spacer plate. And in figuring out my design for my sketch, I'm looking at the drawing and noticing that the general shape is a rectangle. The large hole is centered. The two outside edges with a chamfer and a hole are symmetrical. With this in mind, I'm going to start a new part studio using millimeters as my units. I'll start a sketch and choose the front plane right click and view normal. I'm going to use a center point rectangle to create the rectangular shape and I want to use as a center point the origin on the sketch plane. This will also become the center of the large circle. So I can choose my rectangle. I know that my length is going to be 500 millimeters and my height is going to be 300. I can hit F on the keyboard to fit or scroll in and out to make the size. I'm going to escape this rectangle command. And you can see that by making the center of my center point rectangle and the origin coincident, this rectangle is now fully defined. I'm going to use a center point circle, use the origin for the center point to put the large circle, click and this is a 200 millimeter diameter circle, so that's created. Next, we're going to locate this smaller 75 millimeter hole. I'll again use the center point circle, and it's located somewhere in this region. I can set its diameter at 75 as I draw it, and now using my dimension tool, I'll use the center point of the circle and this edge and set this distance at 75. And the center point of the circle and the bottom edge and set this distance at 100. Next I'll use my line tool to create this chamfer. I want to be coincident to this top edge. I'm going to hold the mouse button down to draw a single line. And now I'm coincident to the side. And using my dimension tool, I'll dimension from the end point of the line to the end point here. This is going to be 125 millimeters. And from this top corner to the end point of the line. And this will be 100. And now that's fully defined. The chamfer and circle on this side are symmetrical to the other side. So I'm going to use my line command and choose construction to create a center line. I'll pick up a coincident with this center origin point and look at the projection to start this so that it comes down through my origin point. And now I've created a center line that I can use for mirroring these features from one side to the other. I'll choose a mirror command from my sketch tools. It asks me to select a mirror line that center line that I, or construction line that I just created will be my mirror line and the entities to be mirrored will be the line for the chamfer and the circle and you can see that they're created there and to end this command I right click and escape. Now you'll notice by using the mirror command to create the entities on the left side they are tied together with these already created on the right. So if I were to edit, for example, the size of this hole to 100 millimeters, they would both change. So this is a, gives us powerful editing tools when working with symmetrical objects. With my sketch finished, I'll right click and choose Confirm Sketch. Right click again and choose Isometric for my view. I'm going to use the Extrude tool off my feature menu. This will be a new part. And for my face, I'm going to notice that it automatically lights up that area. I will click and choose that. And we're going to extrude in that direction, 50 millimeters, to make this part. And I can see my finished part. I'll accept this. And now I've created my spacer plate.